What's going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and today I bring you more things of interest regarding the rise of iron or what's speculated to be that very thing. Now yesterday I was oh, tweeted this image from a dude who stated he found it on Reddit. How real it is, I have no idea. The day before we had a similar image which was tweeted out by Gefalion, which I will show you guys on screen now. I as well as everyone I think made a video talking about this. The ad owned by Bungie clearly stated that they have a new raid, story, gears and weapons coming with the Rise of Iron expansion. But the ad, if it was real, was quickly removed so you can no longer get it to pop up in that Google search. The image tweeted at me yesterday is also an ad owned by Bungie, or so the image states anyway. For sure it is believed that the ads for the Rise of the Iron were taken down, but who's to say that this wasn't captured before they were removed? In this image we can clearly see it states Fallen Raid, which is believed to be what's coming with the Rise of Iron anyway, new Crucible game modes and kill cams. This is what interests me, kill cams. I mean it's something I wouldn't mind seeing introduced, but it would affect major factions for certain game modes, obviously Trials of Souls. Whether they will be round or game winning kill cams or just a kill cam you can watch after each death is not clear. Either way, when I tweeted out about this yesterday, I'd say it was about 70-30 in favour of kill cams. Me personally, I would love to see the perspective of me getting killed around 6 corners or 3 flights of stairs post game while decrypting my engrams in that tower, but that's just me. Well, what do you guys think? Would you welcome kill cams? Let me know down below in that comments section. It also states new crucible game modes, which can't be a bad thing. Whether or not the image is real or fake, it does have some great points to it. Okay, so next up we have this 7 second video posted on Bungie's Facebook, which is just a teaser for the upcoming stream tomorrow, which I am super hyped for. It has a rather interesting image at its forefront, which shows an axe or hammer being welded. The axe clearly has the theme of the Iron Lords and looks very similar to the axe being welded by what's believed to be Lord Saladin in the first Rise of Iron post elite we saw a few weeks back. It leads me to believe that this axe or hammer will be a major tool within the next DLC expansion. If they can include swords and make them work to great fashion, a hammer or a giant axe would just be as awesome. Tomorrow via the stream I guess we will find out. Next up we have this image here. Now I was actually walking by my girlfriend this morning after about 2 hours of sleep telling me about this new image that had surfaced. It depicts what looks to be Lord Saladin with a sexual looking cloak surrounded by wolves heading towards what looks to be a giant hole within the Cosmodrome wall. The same hole we saw in the first leaked Rise of Iron poster in which he seemed to be coming from probably after finishing his mission. The image actually comes from a teaser trailer from the Bungie Facebook page which was shortly after removed. Maybe it was posted too early or it was Bungie's plan to get the also big hype train for this DLC even bigger. By uploading it for a short period of time before willingly removing it so people could speculate just like what we are doing. The wolves in this image to me though are what stand out most and how they are involved within the game, what are their purpose, can we interact with them or are they just wild and we can galahorn the fuckers. I guess like most things regarding this DLC we just have to wait until the stream tomorrow. Almost at an end now people but before we do there's one more thing I'd like to share with you guys. Remember a couple of weeks back when the first Rise of Iron poster was leaked? A few certain sources stated that it was the next DLC expansion which would include a Fallen themed raid. A raid which was cut from the House of Wolves expansion way back. That's a little interesting to me, check this out. Do the pieces add up, you decide. Ok so the first Rise of Iron poster we saw snow. Snow which is not in the game anywhere as I can find. We also saw wolves, ties in with House of Wolves, who knows. But Snow being a main factor in my point here. We then got this teaser image for the upcoming stream which again shows Snow. The teaser video we saw posted on Facebook clearly shows Snow falling. The teaser trailer of Saladin surrounded by wolves from Facebook which was removed also shows that also sexy Snow. I know what you guys are thinking, make your fucking point already. Ok, so I will. All this snow as well as the DLC believed to be Fallen themed with a Fallen Raid. A raid which was believed to be have been cut from the House of Wolves expansion. Now take a look at this. This is the House of Wolves original trailer from way back.
Did you see that? I can see a shit ton of snow. Imagine the snowman you could build, absolutely awesome. But on a serious note though, the snow was a major point in that trailer when looking back. Where was that place? Why didn't we get to go there or explore it? Could what we see in the stream tomorrow answer these questions? Was that trailer cinematics made before they decided to cut the raid? Indeed, if that's what they did. Who knows? But that is the only time we've saw snow besides the Rise of Iron images and trailers that we've seen of recent. Both being Fallen themed expansions, do they tie in somehow? Who knows? But what do you guys think? Let me know down below. Also, I will add as well, I do think later we will get a decent trailer for the stream tomorrow. So keep your eyes peeled for that. But guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for stopping by as always. And I'll catch you guys on that next one. Peace out until next time. Peace! Power and you'll go far. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand. But you and I will carry on. You never get it right.